Hello, this is Julie of CutterCrafter.com. Today I want to show you how to use the software Scan and Cut Canvas Workspace to use the free Regal Split Monogram font that I've posted on my blog. I've also posted on the blog how to make this design on a ceramic tile using vinyl. When you download the free font called Regal Split Monogram, you'll install it in your computer system font system folder and then you'll be able to use it in your software. It will have to be unzipped before it will install. So I'm going to go to the Canvas Workspace software. This is uh, the new version that is not online. You download this software to your computer. And the first thing we need to do to create that design is click on the T for true type font and then go up to the, the font name and we're going to scroll down to Regal Split Monogram. So we're going to go to the R's. And click on the font name. We're going to be sure to take the bold off because we'll get a very odd shape if we use bold. We want the regular font. Then we're going to click on the screen and type the one letter that we want to use. And I'm going to use the capital B make sure it's a capital because the lowercase letters do not have the split monogram. Once we have that we're going to come over to properties and we're going to enter a width of 10 inches and press enter. So now we have the basic design of the monogram ready to use and we're going to add to it the customized name and date or anything you want to add to it and you can use a font of your choice. I wanted a font that had the serifs on it that would kind of match the shape of the main letter in the monogram but you can use any font that you like. I'm going to click on the T to get that and I don't want Antique Oakland again but what I want this time is Caslon, C A S L O N, now their um, fonts ability to use fonts with scan and cut is is something that's new and it seems that sometimes some of the letters don't work properly. If they don't, I usually go in to make the cut or sure cuts a lot version, make it there and export as SVG. But it should work fine with this one. So I'm going to choose Caslon BD BT. And in this case, bold is okay. But if you use bold for the split monogram, it's going to look really funny. So I'm going to click on the screen and type in what I'd like to use. I'm going to use um, the family name. I'm going to a wedding tomorrow and I need to make this project for them. So Burke family and click away from it and it'll be selected and um, the width on this would be 9.6 and enter. Now I'm going to put the top of the text so that it just barely overlaps that bottom bar and drag the bottom down until it just barely overlaps the bottom bar or the top portion of this. We can click away and see that the lines of the text are overlapping here and they're overlapping down here. Now um, 
if you want to add more text at the bottom you may I would like to put the date of their wedding here so I'm gonna again make sure that I've chosen Caslon or you could use even a different font if you don't want to use the same font as you used in the split area so you've got to choose the font first Caslon BDBT is what I'm going to use and I'm going to type in EST for established and their wedding date which is June 16th 2018 I'm using all caps for this you don't have to but I find it's easier to weed and use if I use all caps so this is quite a bit wider than this up here so I'm going to again change the width to 9.6 and then maybe drag this down a little bit you can size it however you want and I'm going to line up the text of both by holding the shift and selecting the text here and lining it up on a line so it's horizontally centered and now I'm going to select all control A and click on the weld icon to weld it all together and now I'd like to see the color in it so again control A to select all I'm going to click on the paintbrush on the right click on this blank spot on the fill click on a black box and then I can see how it's going to look cut from vinyl so it's now ready to use I can go to file save as and save it in the format that this software uses but you know if you want to use this with on your scan and cut you can save it here so that you can edit it but then you probably will want to save it as an FCM file but you can't so you need to export it export FCM and save it there as an FCM file now you can also transfer that file to your machine if you have the machine turned on you can and you have Bluetooth so you can send it there what I usually do is I select it all and just copy the FCM file to my thumb drive that I have plugged into my scan and cut and then I'm able to just select it on my machine but either way it works once you get it into this software and saved you can use it over and over you might want to undo the weld and remove the date then you'll have this letter monogram ready for another custom project and you can just save it as a B monogram and then you can have it ready to use for the next time so this works on scan and cut now if you find that you have a letter that just doesn't look right in this software again you can make an SVG file out of the same design you can see the video I made for make the cut or sure cuts a lot and you can create your design in one of those software programs export as SVG and import the SVG here or just put it on your thumb drive and cut straight without even using brother canvas workspace I hope this helps you create some really beautiful projects. Thanks for watching. Bye.